The Occupational Health and Safety Act was signed into law in South Africa in 1993. This act is there to provide for the health and safety of persons at work, the health and safety of persons in connection with the use of plant and machinery, as well as the protection of persons other than persons at work against hazards to health and safety. That's quite complicated language. So let's make this simpler. Basically, the Act is there to ensure that the employers and the people that work for them, the employees, act in a safe and responsible way in the workplace. The Act also makes sure that other people who come into contact with people or products from a workplace are safe. This is a short and simple explanation of the OHS Act. Now, let's look at a practical example. How the Act could apply to people working in the kitchen of a restaurant. Jan works as a cook and a dishwasher, and Malandi is his manager. If Jan messes water on the floor, it's his responsibility to make sure he cleans it up immediately before anyone slips and gets injured. Malandi must make sure that the kitchen always has a hot water supply for hygiene purposes. Jan, Malandi and all other kitchen staff must always wash their hands before touching any food items so that they don't spread germs and make the people eating the restaurant food sick. Malandi must also check that all kitchen staff wear the correct protective clothing at all times. For example, the right kinds of gloves and shoes. The OHS Act warns against the use of personal headphones as a possible safety risk. And so the kitchen staff here are not allowed to wear personal headphones because they need to be aware of what is happening in the environment. This is a small sample of the kind of important rules and guidelines the OHS Act provides for workplaces in South Africa.